right guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Now, this isn't just any episode of Giant Foods. This episode is important and kind of historical in a way because Dan Killer Kennedy's YouTube channel has hit 50,000 subscribers and I want to stop right there because it's thanks to you guys that we're able to hit 50K. Now, there's a lot of things that we could do for 50K. I mean, it's really endless. 50 items, 50,000 calories, uh, I mean, there's a lot of things. Or, we could do something that everybody loves. Johnny Burgers, bacon, and peanut butter. Yep, exactly. 50 plus layer, stack. Hamburger, cheese, bacon, peanut butter. A peanut butter bacon burger challenge. Are you with me? Let's do this I'd thing. I'd also like to uh, apologize for the mess in the kitchen here because I'm in the midst of a remodel. So, uh, that's why it's a mess. Because I know you're going to be like, why is there no window there? Why is it dark? Why does it look torn apart? That's why. All right, so I got 16 quarter pound patties here. And uh, see if you guys get this reference, stupid Flanders. Um, obviously these cook down, but uh, yeah, it's cold out today. It's a uh, cold fall day in here in Pennsylvania. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop these patties down. Get ready to uh, listen to the sizzle. Of deliciousness. I don't honestly think I've ever had one of these Flanders burgers. Have you? Mm, not sure. I honestly can't can't think of any time where I've ever had a Flanders patty. Stupid Flanders. <laughs> Probably should have started bacon first. Hey. Okay. Drop some bacon. Bacon is light. Ouch, you bitch! You can say bacon, you do. Huh? You can't say bacon, you do. Oh, that's done. That's just done already, right? Yeah. That's how I would eat it. I can't! I can't always be awesome, but I, I do like that bacon. It's not, I don't think it's that bad. That's just my personal opinion. Now, uh, okay, so we got, we got our 16 patties here. We're gonna slide those down a little bit so I can get a little, a little more bacon apparatus in the grilling area here. We'll get this spread out. There is a, uh, a pound of bacon here. All right, so we went ahead and seasoned everything we got here, and we're going to, uh, Okay. Smells delicious. It does smell delicious. Look at this, Mr. Pool. That's just about right. Let's uh, that smell delicious. I, I guarantee that all my neighbors are super jealous when I cook. Because they're like, ah, oh, man, they're always cooking some good shit. Uh, anyways, try not to get burnt on the urine. That was a plethora of these. Shout out to the subscriber that uh, sent me this shirt. You know who you are. It is a plethora of beef in it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Alright, so get these flipped. Let them cook a few more minutes and then uh, we're going to be in business. Guys, so, uh, also, the 50,000 subscriber special, you knew we had to do something special. Well, I mean, semi special. Uh, later on in the video, at some point in time, I'm going to tell you how to win one of these bad boys. Now, what is this, you may ask? It's a pillow. But why is it significant? Mr. Boat? Why is it significant? Because, well, that one's from a contest, but there are others from food challenges. Yes, these shirts are all made from t-shirts that I've collected over my six-year career in competitive eating. Uh, now these are handcrafted by my mother. She took the time and cut out the stencils, filled them, sewed them. Her and my dad collectively made these. And I got about a dozen or so to give away. And if you watch, keep watching. You're going to find out later on the video how you can get yourself right, Mr. Cool. So we uh, got this all cooked up. We're going to go ahead and start pulling this stuff. We, uh, that bacon is uh, overcooked. 
as it is. So we're gonna go ahead and pour a burger. That's 16 patties. I try not to overcook these because I'm trying to keep the weight, you know, where it belongs. So uh, it's this plate right here, in its own right, pretty heavy. We got this delicious looking bacon. Of course, like I said, I remember one time in my life where I thought, man, this is a lot of bacon. This isn't one of those times. I never thought I was going to want bacon ever again after that challenge. But here we are. Bacon. It's, it's one of them things where it's like, oh, dude, I'm totally never going to want one of those ever again. But then, all of a sudden, you want so As you can see, i got two different types of cheeses here. i got 12 slices of uh, pepper jack. Sliced pepper jack. Sliced. This isn't cheese product either. It's actually cheese, and i got some... Sliced sharp cheddar. We don't use no zipper bags because uh, we ain't putting it away. So now the premise of this whole thing is bun, burger, bacon, cheese, peanut butter. What kind of peanut butter you asked? The G. The G. Yeah. Now we, uh, Put it in some warm water to make it a little bit more pourable. So, seems like it's pretty pliable. Look at that. Sometimes all you can do is look at it. Alright, so we're going to start out. We're going to drop a bun. We've got our bun on. Get down here so you can see Anderson's action. Anderson needs some love in the comments below because Anderson is, uh, unfortunately, his health is declining rapidly. So, give him some love in the comments. Got her down, Mr. Pool. We got some bacon on there. And we got some peanut butter. Oh, that could have been way more melty. I know, right? It's not as melty as I assumed it was going to be. I guess we'll just have to see. But uh, you guys get the uh, general gist, right? Let me go back to a patty. Let me have some bacon. Let me have some peanut butter. Get it? Wash, rinse, and repeat. guys without further ado the 50,000 subscriber special 50 plus layers we ended up with 64 layers of burger bacon peanut butter deliciousness let's do this thing three two one let's do it this is a uh, giant food slash subscriber special slash welcome back to doing videos at the house Ooh. Now, this isn't the first time I've had peanut butter on a sandwich, but with just this combo. I have to admit, it's pretty good. That worked. Oh, cool. Two of the first times I ever saw like a uh, peanut butter on a burger was the Stellinator. I think I watched Molly Schuyler's video like way back. And uh, Beard Me Sue did a lot of peanut butter burgers. Mm. Oh, dude, that bun is dense. <sighs> I should have put some burnt buns throughout this. Mm -hmm. 
if I get to 100K, I'll do a legitimate 100,000 calorie challenge and show you what somebody actually looks like when they consume 100,000 calories. <laughs> like balls. I already did 36,000. I was dying. My resting heart rate was like 125. <laughs> Drink some water too. I'll keep your calories now. How many calories is in this? A lot. I don't even actually know. Um, I crapped on though. Because you got to remember the peanut butter is extremely calorically dense. Uh, 190 calories for two tablespoons. Tablespoons, not a whole heck of a lot. When people actually measure out a tablespoon, they're like, that's it? I'm like, that's it. First time having these Flanders patties too, they're actually not that bad. Let's do that. Mr. Poulos had a great idea. We'll get them buns, I'll cut them, and I'll actually make a couple sandwiches out of this beef. Definitely prefer a little more rubbery. What's this? What can't buy on this? <laughs> I can't even tell you what the actual burger tastes like. Stop! 50,000 subscribers are still fighting. Stop! This thing's a big, meaty, beefy, bacony, cheesy, peanut butter tower of deliciousness. You ate three of these a day, you'd be 600 pounds. <laughs> I don't mean, I don't mean the whole thing. I don't mean three of these. Have to eat one of these. It wouldn't surprise me if this one triple that I made has a thousand calories in it. Over a thousand, it has to be over a thousand. Three patties, three layers of bacon, six slices of cheese, and who knows how much peanut butter. Look at the size here. That's 1800 calories. That's a lot of calories. Think about things in your head. They seem a lot bigger, bigger in your head. I had that picture in my head like it was gonna be. <laughs> I think it's how it's all we made with that vegan man. Vegan burger thing was pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna make another one. 
If I cut each layer of these, that means it's six more. That means that that was 70 layers. True story, it's a 70 layer burger now. Look at that. I think the beast. This is the point in the video where I, uh, I'm going to tell you how to win one of those cool pillows. There's only a couple restrictions. One, you have to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You also have to be subscribed to my channel. And I also want to see a comment below. I eat three a day to help keep me strong. You could have a chance to win one of those pillows. That's worth it, people. Give you a uh, cross section of that beast. Should have filled the whole center up. Sure. Not opening up. kitchen for <clears throat> bigger unit foods. I should put in a full kitchen. Fryer. Step in here, it's like... Jeez, is it five star restaurant? No. Kitchen. I'm trying to kitchen. Is that like health food? The giant food kitchen, the GFK. <laughs> we ever get a chance to put a little peanut butter on a burger, I would recommend it. How much does it add cooking your bacon on rusty grill? <laughs> Get all that extra iron. This is a uh, <clears throat> this is my version of keeping the carbs down. <laughs> It's like a meat salad. I should cut this up and put it over lettuce. Probably meat salad. <laughs> wow. There's definitely one of the challenges where your pancreas is probably like, what the hell is going on up there? <laughs> Like code red. Not to be confused with code brown. 
everything is in a hyper overdrive. Hyper overdrive, is that like ludic <coughs> ludicrous piece? Stop this thing. God damn, we gotta slow down for it. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys so i hope you really enjoyed that video as much as i enjoyed eating it it was uh delicious to say the least and uh i'd like to special thanks to everybody that subscribed to the channel over the last half a decade it means a lot uh i know sometimes you don't think that the, the uh, content creators actually look at the comments and things like that we do but we also are human and we have other obligations so i always can't respond or like every single comment but i do read them and uh some of the things are good ideas and there's encouragement in there and i appreciate that and like I said, if you've watched the entirety of this video, you know how to get yourself your hands on one of these custom made pillows. These don't exist anywhere else. I'm not selling them online, I'm giving them away. Like I said, watch the video, you'll know exactly how to get your hands on them. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at The Killer Kennedy. And until next time, make sure, just try some peanut butter on a burger. Just a little bit though. Not a whole lot. Spoonful and just Right across the old top of roof. You won't be sorry. I'll see you at the next 50K. Take it easy.